Well, hey there folks, welcome back once again to the Hop House. It's Eddie here. Uh, it's time for another beer review, and this is a virgin beer review, which means I've never had this beer before in my life. If you're brand new to this channel, welcome along to the Hop House. We call that to like hoppy beer, we like house music. If you like either of those, or both, then give us one of those. Give us a like, share, subscribe to this channel. It sounds like your cup of tea. Okay, we're in December, we're doing some more dark beers. Um, I did a festive one as well. I'll, I'll try and get a couple more Christmassy ones. I'm, I'm going to pop out to Morrison's and get stuff like Rosy Nosy and a couple of other sort of festive beers uh, just to review on the channel. Uh, it's coming up to Christmas. It's the first time in four years I've got Christmas off uh, and New Year. I, I'm not going to be, once I break up for work, I'm going to be back until the 3rd of Jan. So I'm going to hopefully be able to have some lovely sort of festive uh, beers. Uh, well, probably not me. I just have a lot of IPAs because that's me, in it? But you know what I mean? Getting in the mood, getting festive, getting Christmassy. This is about as festive and Christmassy as I get. I'm not particularly a Christmas person. But anyway, we're going to carry on with some dark beers. Do you want to see what we're going to review on this video? Okay, uh, we're going crafty now. So I did a couple of, um, well, I suppose the Stonehouse Sidelines one was crafty. But I just did a, a start that's in B&M. This I got when I went to Tenby uh, on my anniversary in Wales. And it's this. It's their milk stout, it's called Night Swimming Deserves a Quiet Life. Look at that, it's got a big fish on it, eh? Night Swimming, look at that. It's coming in at 6.8% of coffee milk stout in a 440ml can. It does say here the best before is November 2022, so officially it's out of date, but it's a stout. You're not really bothered about hops fading like on an IPA or anything in a stout. It's been in my beer box, it's cold, but it's been out for a good, it does still feel quite cold, this can, but it's been out a good 45 minutes. Um, so I'm hoping it's not too cold. Should we get it out into the glass? Oh, that looks good. Right, let's see if we can now see the difference. I want to go a bit craftier, look at that. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Now this looks more like a stout with some clout, doesn't it? Look at that. Using my coracle beer glass, because this is my this is the first craft beer glass I got, it's still my favourite. Or one of the first anyway. Um yeah that's pitch black, there's nothing getting through that. There's a lovely sort of beigey tan coloured head. Let's do a jig about, do a bit of lace and look at that go around. This is more like it. This is what I want from a stout. I can't do too much twirling in the glass because I don't want to spill it on the floor but hopefully you can see you can see that wonderful head uh, in fact it's almost 50 50 head and and, and um, <coughs> liquid stuff some people call that a knobhead pour um, I I'm not that bothered about beers having too much head because it knocks the gas out of it so it's not going to make it too well, I suppose it, that really goes mostly with lager. You know, if you go to the Czech Republic, you get this massive head on it. When I've been to like Prague, um, massive head, and sometimes they scoop it off with a, with like a flat knife. But what that's doing is it's making sure that all that gassiness that is in the glass when it's poured out and not in your stomach, so it's not going to make you sort of get really bad indigestion. So I'm not that bothered about big heads. Who were? Uh, this it's quite a bubbly head though. But it is a very sort of spacious head. Uh, it looks it looks great. Love the way it sort of jigs over. Look at that. Got no complaints with the appearance. Best looking beer so far. But it's not. It's something that is, I've probably paid a premium for. I can't remember, remember how much this was. I bought it from the Tap and Tan in Tenby. Uh, Tenby Brewing Co's little um, craft beer bar in the, in the town centre. Uh, I got this and I think I got a couple of IPAs. Um, and I can't remember how much it was, it's months ago since I was there. But it's nice to get around to doing this, I've still got to do the IPAs, I think there's a NEPA and then like a West Coast one I'm going to do. But they'll come uh, in the channel, right now we're looking at this. Let's get some aromas, put that into there, let's give it a whiff, see what we can sniff. Much better, just trying to, still trying to warm it up a little bit, it is still a bit chilled in the glass. That does smell like a, like an espresso martini. Really, although it's a coffee milk stout, the last one, um, the 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 um, Wickwar one, smelt 
quite sweet and um, you can almost tell there was lactose in it. I mean, this is a milk stout, so it's going to have lactose in it, but this smells more like coffee bean. Walking into a Costa coffee or a Starbucks, mm, well, maybe a bit more independent coffee shop than that. It smells like an espresso. If you ever had an espresso martini, that's what this smells like. A real dark roasted bean coffee. Um, a little bit of sweetness in that aroma, but it's not vanilla-y. The last one smelled vanilla-y and caramel like a caramel latte or something like that. This smells a lot more just genuine coffee, dark roasted malt, coffee bean. I want to get into this, I'm excited. 6.8%, bottoms up, down the hatch, cheers. Oh. Oh, what a beer. Difference is night and day. Um, I mean, again, I don't usually do this, but have a look at that look at how it looks like flat coke compared to that which looks certainly is a lot more dark i can see light bleeding through on that and everything um but that's brewed at a budget you know this is it's more a premium product mm. that is banging that is delightful Don't go over the top. Look at that. You can just tell that's quality, can't you? You really can. You can tell that is absolute quality. I can't really wiggle it a bit more because we're at the top of the glass. Um, Body-wise, it's a lot more body to it than the previous beer. Even though that's six one and this is six eight, there's not a massive amount of difference in the ABV. Mm. But in the body, this has got a lot more going for it. It's a milk stout, so I'm expecting lactose, but I'm thinking to put oats in this as well to really sort of thicken it up, make it a bit more unctuous, if you like, um, a bit more luxurious, a bit more premium. You've got roasted malt there that that goes down the uh, down the sides of the tongue. The overall roasted malt sort of coffee espresso bitterness it's really there in the aftertaste as well and you've got a little bit of sweetness down the middle of the tongue sweetness enough to carry it so that it works with the bitterness going down the sides there's an initial fizz of carbonation but overall it's quite soft that is a lovely lovely style I didn't doubt it'd be a lovely stout. Um, the beers I had from Tenby Brewing while I was there were very good. I know I think they've won um, some awards in West Wales, as they call it, or South West Wales, as I'd call it, because I'm not from Wales. Again, look at that. Now we can sort of swirl it around a bit. Cracking, cracking. Love it. Let's have a read of what it says on the can, and I'm going to rate it. Uh, oh, it doesn't say a lot at all, actually. In fact, not much at all. Um, the ingredients are water, malted barley, hops, yeast, and lactose. Um, Brewing can at Temby Brewing Co. The Sultans in Temby. 2.99 UK units, 6.8% ABV. Coffee, milk stout, night swimming. It deserves two thumbs up and a foot. So we get three thumbs out of four. That is lovely, lovely beer. The more I'm drinking it now, the more I'm getting the bitterness in the aftertaste, and I really like that. That is cracking. Now, I'm going to do one more, which is going to be very much a treat. Um, I could potentially do two more, but I'm not going to do one more. And I'll save the other one for another time when I next do some more dark beers. But that's, that's, that's awesome. I'm really glad I picked that up. We've got a website. TembyBrewingCo.com Check them out. Brew by the sea. 
I've got a t-shirt as well, I should, probably should have bought it for this review, but hey ho. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Two thumbs up and a foot, three thumbs out four. That is cracking, makes me want to go swimming at night. Or maybe not. Like, share, subscribe, we'll see you again for some more beer reviews right here on the Hop House. Ciao for now people! That's cracking. Ta-ra.